Thank you, thank you. Kade bozona, make a tonaya. If like a person to reclata di bozona ya, recapando zoklo prostichkiya. We worship you, Lord. We adore you. We give you praise in Jesus' precious name. We pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Um, I like to welcome you to day twenty-three, day nineteen. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> it's day 19 of the 53 days fasting and prayer from Passover to Pentecost. Tonight we have someone that's a very dear friend of mine. Someone, one of the very first people I met in South Africa uh, when I first came in 2001. She became, I call her my first preaching manager. Hallelujah. She was the very first one whom the Lord used to open doors for me you know, to go preach in different places. Erica was a friend, and they were the ones that were used to bring me back to South Africa, hallelujah, in 2002. So tonight, she's a woman of God's heart, a good friend of mine, hallelujah, daughter of Zion. Uh, her heart is pure. And tonight, I believe the Holy Spirit will use her to impact, to, to inspire, and to bless his people. Uh, you you receive from a vessel of the Lord with a prophetic anointing, and I believe tonight the Lord will use her to release not just um, over the nation, but individually you're going to be blessed. I tell you, everyone who comes into the gate, the river hits you, the rain hits you, the power of God hits you. You'll be healing while you are praying for the nation. There'll be deliverance, there'll be impartation. So tonight, without further ado. I'd like to welcome Erica Richards, who will be leading us tonight in this prayer. Over to you, Erica. Good evening, by the way. Oh, Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Thank you so much, um, John. I am really honored to be on this platform tonight. Truly, I am um, overwhelmed. And if I just look at all these faces that I can see, I'm telling you, um, God has put a, a forum here together that um, is full of fire and full of passion. So tonight, I truly want the Holy Spirit to take over. As Pastor John prayed that the Holy Spirit will come and take residence in this meeting, that he will come and that he will lead and that every word spoken and every prayer that is being prayed that it will be from the heart of the Father. And I just want to say thank you, Father God, for this privilege. Thank you, Father, knowing that you love your children so much. Lord, thank you that you have their name written in the palm of your hand, that no one is forgotten. Lord, that in any kind of challenge anyone might be, you are there in the midst with them, Lord. You carry them. And you take them where you want them to be. You work in our hearts to be a willing vessel, Lord. Nothing is out of ourselves. It is all because of Jesus. It is all because of Christ. We st step aside, Lord, and we hand over that your kingdom will be established on this earth. And we thank you, Father, that we can come together. And that we can truly just know, Father God, that you are for us. Who then can be against us? May your name be glorified this evening, Lord. May the face of Christ Jesus shine upon each person tonight. May we experience the fire of the Holy Spirit igniting inside of us. I thank you, Lord. We are here to listen to what you have to say to us tonight so that we can stand up, that we can rise up as the people, as the sons and daughters that you have called us to be. We pray this in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes. You know, John, I just want to say that when you say that individually, and that is exactly what the Lord has speaking to me in this work, in this week, that he wants us individually to be so connected with him so that 
when we stand before him, that we stand, I know the blood of Jesus has cleansed us, but so many times our minds take us away and make us so aware of our problems, of our situations, of our challenges. And then we want to come and we want to pray for our nation, but our own hearts are sometimes so challenging and so in a situation that it makes us disturbing. It makes, it puts us in a place of um, uncertainties. And God wants tonight, he wants each and everyone's attention to him, focused on him. One thing I know, God wants us to host his presence. And when we host his presence, our senses are so finely in tune to him that we cannot wonder, is it God's voice? Is it my voice? Is it the voice of a stranger? But if I host the presence of Jesus Christ, I will know it is God speaking. I will see what he wants to show us. And tonight, I just want to say thank you. Thank you to Jesus, because he is the one that is at work in our hearts to become the person, the daughter, the son that he wants us to be so that we can truly come together corporately to be the bride so that we can be purified, that we can be made ready so that when our groom comes, that we will know our lamps are filled with the oil that he has given us. And every morning, I just say, Holy Spirit, come and fill me afresh with your anointing, with your sevenfold spirit, that I may walk into this day and that I will live Christ because I have been crucified with Christ. I no longer live. The only life I live is the life I live in the faith of God because he has given his life to me. He is truly a faithful God. His word is our only truth. We have his promises in our hearts and God will always come through for us. Psalm 23 says that he, we will not want anything because he leads us to green pastures. He leads us so that we can drink from the living waters. And when I am in the rest of him, God works on my behalf. And tonight he wants to touch each and every one of us so that we can truly experience a tangible presence of him in us, around us, wherever we are, that it is not only for tonight, that it is for every, even when we sleep, he wants to be so tangibly in our midst, in our dreams, so that when we wake up, we are so full of his spirit and we can wake up in his glory. I remember John G. Lake once said, and I believe this is not only for sickness, but for everything in my life, that the life of the spirit of Christ Jesus is active in me. And when the life of the spirit of Christ Jesus is active in me, nothing can affect me. It's not supposed to affect me. I can walk in his truth. I can take his truth and I can be so certain and so sure and so secure that anything that comes from the outside will not have an effect on me. No matter what circumstance we are in, no matter what is coming to us, one thing is for certain, and that is that Jesus Christ has brought us victory. He has brought us freedom, and we can walk in this freedom with a certainty, for God is faithful. He is never, never late, and he is never untrue. His word is always, always true to us. When we are in the middle of a situation, it's very difficult. But when we are saturated with his presence, when we host his presence, that even circumstances that we can feel with our flesh, 
yes, our spirit and the truth of Christ in us then exceeds the, the flesh in the name of Jesus Christ. Christ's faith in me works out my journey, works out what God wants for me. God has something to say to you tonight. This is the time not for pleasure, but for prayer. Not a time for fear and depression, but a time of faith and obedience. I just know that whenever I choose to obey God's word, no matter how difficult it is, no matter if I'm being um, 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 pushed aside or not accepted, one thing is true, God has accepted me. And that is the only truth that will make me stand firm and steadfast. It will not move because Jesus Christ is the firm foundation he is the rock on which I stand. But now I have to ask myself, how do I respond to these things? What is my relationship with Christ? Because if my relationship with Christ is, is solid and intimate, I know that no matter what comes to me, I am, uh, I have the victory. I already have the victory. Remember one thing, what we say with our words is a seed that we speak. And that seed is being germinated of every word that is spoken through us after that. And then we will reap what we have spoken. So God wants us to choose life. So we speak his word. We speak the oracles of God. We speak into existence what God has said for our lives. I thank God that since the day I came home, I came back home, he has taught me that the tongue is so powerful and that his word is the sure foundation of speaking so that my destiny will be strong so when i speak i can my eyes see a lot of things but i have to guard my heart so that the words that come out of my mouth will be my, will be words that will encourage that will uplift that will maybe prophesy into someone's life where a person or a situation might have looked as if it's going to die or there's nothing good coming out of it. But my words filled with the anointing of the Holy Spirit because every word of God is anointed. I speak life into any dead situation. What did... Father God said say to Elijah when they saw the dead bones, he said, Elijah, what do you see? He says, Father God, you know. He said, speak life into them. When we see dead bones, we speak life into them. May I just share a very short testimony <clears throat> that for some time I had pain in my body there where the hip is. But I didn't want to go to the doctor because I'm a person that really confesses God's word. And I believe also that when we start speaking God's word, you start out in the flesh. But if you persevere and you carry on, God's word starts to become alive. And God's word also says that when you hear the word of God, when you speak his word, faith starts to rise up. Eventually, I went to the doctor. And to make a long story short, they said I must have a hip replacement. I went to the surgeon. We got to the surgeon. He wanted to make uh, an appointment for the 6th of March, now in 2023. But then he said to me, there's something that he needs to check out. We did an MRI and another X-ray. Got back two days after that. And he says, there's nothing necessary to, be, to do a, um, a surgery. 
that the very first time I was there, when I got out of his rooms, the next day I felt something happen in my life, in my body. Something like a shift happened in my body. But I didn't realize God is at work in my body. So two days after that, when I went to him, back to the surgeon, he said it's not necessary for a, for a hip replacement. I'm walking today knowing that God has done a miracle in my body because I persevered, yeah. I persevered in speaking his word into my body, over my body. And it is not because Erica is so great. It's because his word is truth. And the blood of Jesus that flowed at Calvary is what brings healing to our bodies. The blood of Jesus is so important to me. What is important to me is communion, what Christ did on the cross, that he went to hell to take back the keys that Satan has taken from Adam, to give it back to us so that we have the authority, that we can open the, the doors, close the doors, and Satan cannot do what we have already done because what we close on earth, what we bind on earth is bound in heaven. What we lose on earth is loose in heaven. And Jesus gave us that authority and we walk in his authority. We need to be so, con um, we need to have such a revelation of who we are in Christ Jesus. It's because if we know who we are in Christ Jesus, we will be the strongest army ever because we will not be dist distracted. We will not come into any a deception of Satan because we are, you are, I am a son and a daughter of the most high God. There is no one higher than our God. There's no authority more powerful than the authority of our God. We have the Holy Spirit in us to remind us of the words that Christ said. He said, we will have trials and tribulations on this earth, but rejoice because he has overcome everything. And because we are in him, we have overcome it. No matter if you're in the middle of a storm or if you're deep in the fire, God said he will be with us in the storm, in the fire. When Peter walked on the water, he didn't walk on the water. He walked on the word of God when Jesus said to him, come, and he walked on that word. We need to walk on the word of God in any kind of situation that we're in. And tonight we are here together to pray as God leads us to pray for our, for, for our families, to pray for because God said we must start in our own lives, in our own families. Then we go out into um, our communities. Then we go out into um, where strangers are. Then we go out further into our country and with the leaders, the church and everywhere. So we can never be without and say, I don't know what to pray for. Prayer releases God's power. And when we have his word embedded in us, faith rises up. And when we pray, anointing is being released. And the hand of God comes forth. And he never, never withdraws. He is always there. He said, when you call upon my name, I'll run through the heavens to assist you. I'll run through the heavens to be with you. I want to change your situation because God says in Jeremiah that he wants us to be healthy. He wants us to be in, um, to do good works, that we will be prosperous. We need to stand steadfast. We need to choose to be with God. We need to choose that Jesus Christ is our only savior. 
Jesus Christ is the only one that can bring us through any kind of situation. And Father, in the name of Jesus, every person that is on this form platform, Lord, you know, you know every name. There is no name that is like a, a dim, foggy awareness by you. But it is so, so clear. Every name of every person on this platform is so important in your sight. Lord, you are a God that makes everyone, every individual, so important. In everyone's life, Lord God, you come in to say to each one of them, Lord God, I am here. I am your God. I want to be intimate with you. And I thank you, Father. Tonight you reach out. In Habakkuk 3, it says that in the palm of God's hand, there lies the power. And I stretch forth my hand over each one tonight. And the power of God is being released onto every person. And I pray that you will receive what God has for you individually. What God has Amen. for you, for your family. What God has for you so that you can go out and that you can proclaim his word. And that you can stand Amen. strong in the midst of a storm. That you can stand up and say, Jesus is the one who rules and reigns who has brought us the victory. And I thank you, Lord. The scripture on um, in Hosea and also in Deuteronomy talks about the reign of God. And I just experienced that God wants to reign upon each one tonight. Receive the reign of God for your life, for your specific situation. Do not run away, but be bold and receive what God has for you. Amen. He is opening up the portals of heaven. He's opening up the portals of heaven where healing will flow from, where finances will flow from, where restoration of relationships will flow from. Jesus is the Christ that paid the full price. There is nothing else that we need to do, but he has put a table and the table is with all the goodness that you can expect is on this table. And he wants you to come and take from this table. Take from this table because he has done it for you. He has done it for you, Lord Jesus. Nothing but nothing we can add to what you have done. We sit humbly at your feet feet lord we just receive from your goodness and we thank you lord god that every person here tonight will have an encounter with the lord jesus christ even if it's now or at night time or tomorrow or next week but i trust you lord that you will Arrange an encounter with every person on this platform in Jesus' name. I believe the Lord is saying that he has called some to be a church leader, to lead 
a group of his people. And the Lord says, do not be despondent. Do not look to what you have or you don't have. For I am the one that has got all the resources. Just obey the calling that I have placed in your heart. Just take the first step of obedience and in faith. And you will see how I will come and I will arrange, I will rearrange, I will position and I will reposition so that you can take your steps into the destiny that I have purposed for you, says the Lord. God has called you to proclaim his word, to bring the victory Christ has wrought on the cross to the people around you, to be like a magnet drawing those that are hurting, walking in the midst of those that are in a deep storm. For you are the one that will present me and you are the one that will bring my love to people that are hurting, to bring order where there's chaos. God is forming you. Allow him like a newborn baby, just lay in his arms and allow him to mold you. Shiber Vasi Karea Tatari and Dustibi. Marbala Takie to Turukutati, ye bembe, Ungumbamba, Eba Iatura, Rilatati Kiri and Dustibi. Shipande Ungungora, Rilatati ye tu. I thank you, Jesus. I thank you, Jesus. There's someone on this uh, platform here that is experiencing a lot of challenges. And those challenges make you feel insecure, make you feel as if you are nobody. God says there is not one son or daughter of mine that is a nobody. Because if you are a son or a daughter of mine, you are in Christ. And you are all that I want you to be. So do not allow circumstances. Do not allow loose tongues to speak over you and to try and destroy you because that is the plan of the enemy to not step into my destiny that I have for you. Do not listen to the enemy, the Lord says, but hear my voice that is encouraging, my voice that lifts you up, my voice that tells you how much I love you. I have given my son for you so that you can stand up out of that miry clay, come out of that darkness. Be bold, says the Lord. God's word says, confess your sins one to the other and I will bring healing. I will bring healing, says the Lord. Do not worry about what people might say because I know you, says the Lord. I know you. Your name is written in the palm of my hand. And I have chosen you. I have set you apart. And the enemy tried to destroy you, but he will not because my plan that I have for you, no one and nothing will come to destroy that plan that I have for you. Shubar Balaria Sura, Eber Batande, Turukusita, Angangari and Dustebe, Sitan Bengari and Dustebe. Lord, we call out your name tonight. We call out your name, Lord God, and we say the name of Jesus Christ. The most powerful name of Jesus. The one who gave all of him so that we can be restored, refreshed that we can be as brand new and that we can look into the eyes of the one that loves us so much and that we can see Jesus 
in all his glory. God says, you are my glory carriers. Go then in my power. It's not because of eloquent speech. It's because of the power of my spirit that is at work in you. It is all about obedience and a willingness for me to work in you, for me to operate through you, for me, that others may see Jesus Christ in you. Hallelujah, Jesus. Kura tataria turba sitaria. Kere katande ukurla si pariandushtebe. Mer batande uturu kulara. Lord, you have called us together to pray for our nation. You have called us together, Lord God, that our voices will reach the heavens to speak in the courtrooms of our mighty God. Almighty Lord, we stand before you and we come into the courtroom tonight by the blood of Jesus Christ only. Nothing of what we have done or what we have accomplished, all because of Jesus Christ. And we thank you, Lord, that you stretch forth your hand, that you have the scepter of acceptance in your hand, and you say, I accept you. And I will hear what you have to say to me. And we come, oh God, in Jesus' name. that your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. That in the times that we are living, Lord God, that you will show yourself powerful for there is no other power than the power of Jesus Christ. And in this, Lord, we pray for our church leaders, each and everyone in this place, Lord, we thank you for every church leader that you have positioned. We ask, Lord, that you will keep them pure. Father, that they will guard their hearts, Father God, and that churches will start to cry out and have a voice in this land of ours, this beautiful land of ours, Lord, that we can take hands together, Lord God, and know that we are a strong powerful army because our leader is Jesus Christ and he rides the white horse and he has the scepter in his hands and no demon and no hell can stand before him and the glory of the Lord will fill this earth for the earth belongs to you Lord God everything in this earth is yours, Lord. And we bow before you and we acknowledge you as our God, as our Lord and as our Master. Kura kasian dushtebe kerle sita, sur kalaria sur katande eter kasita, shubar valande undungumbaria. Rilatati yetu turkusiandu, ribandin derle si arabatande, kura aratatati yetu turkusianduni, mer batande, kura balaria, sura aratatande, kurkularia, ritanding derle si tariandustevi, kiandu sarabatande, kurkulara, rilatande uturkusianduni. Lord, that you will take the churches, your church to stand up and go forward, Lord God, to speak to the leaders of our country. Lord God, that you will position each and every one that you have assigned to be a prophet to the nation, Lord God, to speak out into our governments, Father God, in this whole nation, Lord, that you will open up the doorways for them to step in and to speak your word. And when your word is spoken, everyone shall bow its knee. 
because every knee shall bow before the name of Jesus Christ with an authority, with an anointing, Lord God. I see a new wine filling up into new wineskins over our church leaders to walk into this open door to speak into the governments so that Jesus Christ will be glorified, so that his name will be like a banner over South Africa, the name that is above every other name. It will be seen, it will be heard, it will be physically experienced in the name of Jesus Christ, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. A boldness is falling upon our leaders, our church leaders, a boldness that they will rise up and that they will stand strong, even if they feel they are alone, but they will know that they have a multitude of angels, an army of angels surrounding them. Lord God, show them your ways in Jesus' name. I've just opened my eyes and I see the name Pamela. Um, First of all, I saw a map, but if you turn it around, it's Pam. I don't know if there's a Pamela here, but the Lord says, and I believe like a map, he is giving you a map where he wants you to be. So I just see that the Lord says, sit in front of this map and I will guide you where to go. I will show you where to go. Do not move away from this map. And I just feel the Lord says, there's nothing specific, but if you take a map, maybe the map of South Africa, I don't know. Maybe the map of your, 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 um, your heritage, the Lord will make it clear to you, but he is placing you in a position and he's taking you and he's giving you the sword in your hand. The sword you will use to cut out and to cut off that is that wants to bring stumbling blocks in your pathway. But it will not be out of own effort because the sword is the sword of the Lord. And the sword of the Lord is the word of God. So your tongue will be like a sword coming forth, speaking the word of God. Every day that you come before him, that you set yourself apart to him. He will meet with you like a Mary of old. She allowed him, she allowed Jesus to minister to her, allow Jesus to minister to you. He will give you insight. He will give you foresight. For he is preparing you so that you can walk according to the map that he has given you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. 
Lord Jesus, kumbam bale tu turiandu shtebe. Var katande uturu kusiandun dur la sita atikiye tu turkasiandu ni. Ver katande dur la si ariandu shtebe. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. I believe the Lord wants us to know that we need to allow him to heal us, to heal our hearts, to heal every pain that we might have gone through in our lives. We walk around and we are sons and daughters of the Most High God, but deep inside, deep down inside, we carry things that are hurting, things that are disappointing. Let us take off that mask and let us come before our Lord and allow him to minister to each one of us. In Jesus' name, Lord. I don't know if Pearl is here tonight, John, but um, we know that a pearl is being made. Yes, she's here. Pearl is here. Pearl, yes, she's here. Okay. Yes, she's here. Thank you. When a pearl is made, it is actually sand and all debris that comes into the shell. And then um, the shell actually then starts to cover all this, the sand and all the uh, um, uh, uh, debris and stuff like that. And then it molds this into a beautiful pearl. It is just amazing. And God is saying that every challenge that you went through, Paul, and it's not for nothing that you were given the name Paul, that every challenge since birth, every pain that you might have experienced in your lifetime, every disappointment God has taken, and he has um, molded it with his love and with his presence, that it is now a beautiful pearl, which is very as we know, pearls can be very expensive. And he has made you into this beautiful pearl to shine, to rub off on others, to know that he is forever with you. There is not one second that he is not away from you. There are times that you might think that the burden is too heavy but he is your burden carrier. He will not allow this pearl to be damaged because it is too precious for him. This pearl has a, 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 a destiny and a very specific anointing to be able to do what God has called you to do. A voice he has given you, Paul, a voice to speak that will reach out and it will bring hearing to people and it will close up any wrong hearing, but this voice will speak right through to uh, right through the wrong hearings, right through to deception. This voice will speak right through. In Jesus' name, Lord, I thank you that I can lift up this daughter of you, a gracious daughter of you. Lord, as a young baby that is just being born, the doctor comes and presents the baby to the mother. We bring Paul to you again, to you, and place, it in, place her in your arms, Lord God. For I know this Paul has got is going to get another layer. Father, as we present Pearl to you and you take her and hold her in your arms, close to your bosom, Pearl, God says, I'm placing you 
close to my heart so that you can hear my heartbeat, so that your heartbeat will come inside my heartbeat and it will beat as one. And then you will move in the rhythm of my grace, says the Lord. And as you move in the rhythm of my grace, the next layer is being performed. And the color will consist of the rainbow colors. And as the rainbow colors come together and melt into one, it is a pure bright white. I thank you, Father. For you have spoken and the blood of Jesus is our protection. And the fowls of the air will not Still one word that is spoken tonight, but it is covered with the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. I thank you, Lord, in the name that is above every other name. Oh, God, you are so amazing, Father. You are our daddy, and we thank you, Lord, that we can call you our ever father for your love for each one of us is so unique, is so individual. I ask, Lord, that you will just embrace every person on this platform now, Lord, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah, Jesus. Rachel, the Lord says that you have come to your place of payment is done of receiving your inheritance that he has for you. Walk in the name that he has given you, Rachel. The name, a humble person, a woman that is forever sitting at his feet to consume his presence and to live what he is imparting inside of you. Sit at his feet continuously and you will in experience impartation of who he is in your life. And you will be able to walk out and you will be able to touch others, to share, to give, of the overflow that he is giving you to others. Because God is a God, not only for one person. God is a God for everyone. But he imparts into you so that you can give out again. I thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus. Rilati keti kietu uturkusande, membe iandungumbamba le tu turiatura. Ritande uturukusita, rilati iteriandustebe, kirkatande iperbalandene. Mamba iatu uturukusipa, leta akietu uturkusianduni. Rahande ikirkatande, shira aralatande, ritande, orla sita. John. Because of your perseverance, because of your faithfulness, because of your sitting and obeying my word continuously every day, I have a new assignment for you, John, says the Lord. And the transition might be like a bumpy road might be feeling like as if you're driving in a car and the car just wants to turn over and fall over. But know this tonight. My son, I have called you. I have called you to finish what I have purposed you to do. A transitioning is always not a good experience, but know that I am with you, says the Lord. Not one moment shall you believe that you are or 
have stepped aside from me or any doubt in you, you will not allow that. But know this and do not forget that I am with you in this transitioning period. For, to, for me to give you this new anointing, you will have to lay before me very low so that I can cover you completely with my new anointing that I have for you. That there will be no area where the enemy can come in but that my covering will be complete. So you will lay still and you will listen and you will not say a word for I will minister to you. I will minister to you secrets and mysteries that have not been yet uttered through my mouth to anyone, says the Lord. You have shown yourself faithful, John, says the Lord. Do not allow the enemy to come and tell you otherwise. Do not allow the enemy to come and distract you. But that he, I am the Lord God who is righteous in all my ways. My word never returns void to me, but I send forth my word so that it will become what I have declared it to be. And because of the blood of my son, because of his blood, you are covered. You are protected. If at any time you experience doubt or uncertainty or maybe fear, just cry out to me and you will know that I am, that I am, says the Lord. Shupar Batande Rilatati yetu turukusita mebende ungumbamba yetu uturukusi pariandustebe rara ia tukur kalati ye ritandende in dingingeria sur la si and remember one thing says the Lord John that I have sent out my angels my special forces to encamp round about you. Remember my words in the beginning of this meeting when I said through Erica that you will speak my word, you will speak the oracles of God and you will be protected. You will speak my word and my prophecy over you will come forth into existence. So know this. I am for you. Who then can be against you? Know this, John, tonight. I have truly given you a new authority and a new anointing. Hallelujah, Jesus. We honor you, Father. Lord, You are so worthy of all our praise. You are so worthy, Lord God, to receive all honor. You are the God that alone has dominion and no other. You alone, oh Lord God, have all the power and all the strength. And we kneel before you tonight, Lord, and we thank you. We thank you for your word, Lord. We thank you for your 
impartation of tonight. We thank you that you love us so much, Lord God. That you want to do business with us, Lord. That you want to be part of our lives, lives Lord, more than whatever we can have passion for, Lord. You have it more and more and more. Oh, God in heaven. Let all the busyness just stop so that we can sit at your feet, my Father. Lord, that we can have an open hearing. Your word says, let those that have ears listen. Lord, we come to you tonight to listen. We cry out, oh God, who are we? But nothing, Lord God, without you. You have made us to be a son and a daughter. And Lord, if it was not for you, where would we have been? Lost, forever lost, Lord. Jesus. Jesus. The most beautiful name that can come across our lips is the name of Jesus Christ. Let your rain fall, Lord. Let the new rain fall, Lord God. Let it fall on us, Lord God, and as we move out, Lord God, that that rain will fall onto others as we move, Lord God. And that healing come forth. Healing, Lord God, that people will start to realize, my God, this is new. I've never known this. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Oh, Rabatandi Ikeri Andushtebi. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Oh, Rabatandi Eter Kasitari Andushtebi. Rilataria tur kasitari andus de beker ketande utur kalandene. Hura arataria sura akataki ye to utur kusiandune. Hallelujah, Jesus. Kiarubasi kariandus de be. Hallelujah. Urbatande utur kusiandune. Lara akatikiye tu turkusita atikiye tu uturkusianduni. God is placing two, three names together. It's Tandeka, Florence, and Winifred. Winfred. As I'm looking at the screen. And the Lord has placed you. It's like on a platform, even though he's called out these three names together, each one of you are individual in his sight. And the Lord says, you are me unique. I have separated you. I have called you by name, says the Lord. And many times it felt as if your ankles came, became lame because but I am your strength, says the Lord. I am the rock on which you stand. I have called you individually. I thank you, Lord.
I'm just seeing that you're standing on this sort of platform, but it's moving. It's like a, it's like a thing that's hovering in the air. And I just believe that the Lord is moving you into a situation where he wants you to be. I don't know if you are maybe moving from one position to another or I don't know if someone's getting married, but there is just a movement in your lives. Maybe it's a position. God says, stand firm. Do not fear, for I've already made the way for you to be a firm road, a strong road, a road that you will be safe and comfortable on. But keep your eyes on me. Do not look to the left nor to the right, but keep your eyes focused on me, says the Lord, and you will not be moved or distracted. Thank you, Father. But it's not as if you're walking on the road. It's as if this platform that you're standing on is actually moving. So what the Lord, I believe, is saying here, without any effort of yours on your side, he is working on your behalf to bring about that which he has purposed in your lives. I thank you, Father. Glory, hallelujah. Sibe Ralari and Duste Binger de Kishia to Tata Kietu. Ratan de Upur Kulandini. I believe the Lord is ministering individually tonight because, as we've said in the beginning, God wants us to be healed, to be in our positioning so that we can stand and we can pray for our nation, that we can stand and we can pray for one another, that we can stand and pray for our leaders. God wants a strong, healthy vessel that will not be tossed this way or that way, but that will stand strong and firm, even if there's an, a sort of an uncertainty, but knowing it is God that has spoken to you, knowing this is what you have to do, where you have to be, God is the one that is strengthening you. He is the one that is making everything possible in your life. Thank you, Father. Shura Arabatandi, because he wants his vessels to know. Like when we open up a tap in our home, we know water is coming to, to is going to flow out there. We are the vessel that carries the glory of Christ. And that we will be steadfast, secure, and sure. And the glory will just emanate from his vessels into situations, into circumstances, into people's lives. And as we stand before him, The prayers that go upward will meet with the all-powerful God and he will stretch forth his hand and he will say, done, done, done. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Oh, Baba Leetu Uturiandu Shtibi. Ra Arya Sura Ratata Kietu Turkasita Anding Dimbembe Leetu Turiatura. Rivanding Geriandu Shtibi Ngerte Kisita. Laha Yesu Utarbashtiandu Stabala Ingembe Ura Rarakiatu Ustubariandu Shtibi. Rilande Indingeriandu Shtibi. 
there are some here tonight that really experience as if there's no strength in you. And the Lord is showing to me a stream of water. And he's showing me people actually crawling because of weariness, of hardships. And he says, come and drink from my water. My water that brings life, that imparts into you a new zeal, a new vigor that will ignite a fire inside of you and that you will walk on the footsteps of Jesus Christ and you will not stumble or fall. Come and drink from my living water, says the Lord. Come and drink to your fullest. And if it feels as if you do not have strength, just Put out your hand to the Lord right now and he will fill you with new living water. And a resurrection will happen inside of you. The power of Christ's resurrection will be ignited in you and also in that area that has been drawing you down. The power of the resurrection of Jesus Christ. We honor you, Father. Thank you, Lord, that you do not overlook anyone, Father God, but that each and everyone here tonight, everyone was thirsty, Lord, and you came to fill that thirst, that hunger, oh God, Jesus, all glory to you because of your obedience and willingness, Lord Jesus. We are gathered here tonight. We can come and drink from the living waters. Because of you, Lord Jesus, we can love one another. And we can hold hands, Lord. And we can allow Holy Spirit to move amongst each one of us. To bring truth to us, Lord. To bring certainty. A surety. Lord, there is no God but you. Rabarabatati yetu ralatati kiandu urakatandini. Ribandi ungumbamba letu turiatura. Ritandi ukur kalaria si kandingeri rilatati ye tu tur kashtianduni. Do not be concerned. Do not be worried, my child, says the Lord. It does not matter where you are at, at the moment. Remember, I am with you. I have good news, says the Lord. I have good news, says the Lord. For my good news is that your challenges will come to an end. That your difficulties will be turned into a joyous laughter. For the Lord God says that he has come for the weary. He has come for those that are downtrodden. He has come for those that feel as if they are in the, in, the, in the ashes, in the miry clay. But tonight, the Lord says, I am taking you out of the miry clay. I am restoring because I'm the God of restoration. Believe in me. And you will not be disappointed, says the Lord. You have been called, each one of you. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Kiharubasita takietu. 
Kura Kalaria Turka Sita Tarian Mishtili. Sura Kalaria Turka Sita Tarian Mishtili. Sura Kalaria Mishtili. Jesus. Jesus. Seek first my kingdom and my righteousness, says the Lord, and all the other things will be added to you. God's word is truth. God's word says, meditate on my word and you shall have success. The Lord says, be quiet, be still, and know that I am God. Be still and know that I am God. That knowing is to be intimate with him, to allow him to immerse himself into you. But before that can happen, I must allow myself to be totally dead to myself. I thank you, Father. I thank you, Father. I thank you, Lord. Kumbari andustibekiri andustibekiri andustibeng. Ur kalari andustibeng ertikiri andu. Allow my Holy Spirit to come upon you. Allow my Holy Spirit to move in you. Allow my Spirit, says the Lord, to mold you and to make you And you will experience a new happening in your life, says God Almighty. So many times we, we need to do this and we need to do that because it's a good thing. God says no. So many times it's a good thing, but it's not a God thing. Ask me, what do I have on my heart for you for this day? And I will share with you. I will tell you. And when you obey what I say to you, you will have a day where kingdom has come to earth. Jesus. He is the ruler. He is the one who reigns. He is the one that brings the glory upon your lives. Jesus. Jesus. Urbalari andustebe, keri kasitari andustebe. I believe.
to be quiet for a moment and to listen what he has to say, what our ever father has to say by his spirit. And I hand over to you, John, as I know the Holy Spirit has spoken. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There's a mighty river of God moving in our midst tonight. There's a river of healing. I see books being opened by everyone. There are books. Books that have been stuck. Pages are turning. Keys are being released. Keys to access. Now, the reign of a nation was tied to one man, Elijah. The reign of a nation was tied to one man's obedience, Elijah. And as the woman of God was prophesying that there are some of you, you think you are nothing. But God says that there are reigns that are tied to you to a constituency. Moses felt like nothing. Moses felt unworthy. How can I go stand before Pharaoh? When she was prophesying that there are some of you who feel, you feel like I'm nothing. It's not eloquence. There are reigns that are tied to you for some people's healing, for some people's deliverance, just like Moses felt like, how can I go? I'm nothing, I can't speak. Yet, the reign of the liberation of a nation was tied to him. If he didn't go, how would they be free? So for those of you tonight who feel like I'm unworthy, I'm not known. I'm not strong. I don't have what it takes. You don't have what it takes. God has what it takes. It was not Moses who had what it takes. It was God who had what it takes. It was not Elijah who had what it takes. It was God who was sending the rain. The same way the rain of a nation was tied to Elijah. The deliverance of Israel was tied to Moses. There are some of you here tonight. The deliverance of many is tied to you. The reign, the salvation of many is tied to you. It is not what you have, it's what God is giving. Amen. It's God that is sending the rain through you. If you don't go, those people will not experience the rain. God said to Elijah, go and show yourself and I will send rain. If you will obey God to go to the places where God is sending you to, there will be rain in those places. There will be healing rains, salvation rain. Hey! If you will just say, Lord, here I am. If you say, Lord, I will go. If you say, Lord, I will obey. His rain will follow you. Healing rain will follow you. Deliverance rain will follow you solutions will follow you. It's not in your power. It's not by power. It's not by might, but by my spirit. This outpouring of the spirit is to empower you so that you can become God's medium to bring rain, to bring solution. Hey, South Africa is about to witness a new dimension of God's power Amen. from unknown people from people that are not oh, like that yeah. avail yourself before the lord tonight the lord came to activate the lord came to activate 
He sent a prophetic vessel to activate. <laughs> you know, the Lord trusted my ministry into the hands of Erica to introduce me to South Africa. It was through this woman that my ministry was introduced. It was this woman that took me to place for place. She would just come and pick me and say, John, John, get in the car. When I get to a place, the whole place is full. She said, your ministry here. That's how I was introduced to South Africa, 20, 2001. The Lord used her to activate my ministry and introduce me to a nation. <laughs> Tonight, I want you to know that God brought her here again to activate many of you, to call you into your ministry. If you will not go, you will regret it. Just go. There are people's destiny that are tied to you, just like Moses, just like Elijah. Do not look upon yourself. Do not look at, it's not you, it's the Lord. It's like a hand in glove. The strength is not the glove, it's the hand. You are the glove, it's the Lord's hand through the glove, lifting the weight. Lord, we receive tonight. We receive tonight. Even though those whose names were not called, I saw books open by your side, pages turning. I saw keys being released. I want you to receive it and say, Lord, I received the opening of the books of my life. I received the season to fulfill the prophecies about my life. I received the commissioning. I received the release that through me you will bring rain to places. Oh God, you will use me as I step into the place. Let there be rain. Let there be rain. Let there be healing rain. Deliverance rain. You will step into an office tomorrow. Reign of God is released. People will meet you. You hug them and you shake them, and people will be falling in. It's like, what is happening? I start, I began to experience that when this woman began to take me to places 2001. Things I've never seen happen in the ministry will begin to happen. Like, uh, I was watching, seeing things for the first time happening. I just came, I didn't come to do ministry, I came to record music. God said, you're going to sing my song? Yeah. A nation is waiting to hear your voice. And today it's global. Let it rain. Let it rain. Open the flood gates of heaven. Let it rain. It's raining on summer. Let it rain. Open the floodgates on South Africa. Let it rain. Let it rain over South Africa. Open the floodgates of heaven. Let it rain. Let it rain, let it rain. Pega, Sibeketa, open the flood gates of heaven. Oh, let it, Zeke, Sibla, Skepa, let it rain, let it rain. Open the flood gates, Pega, Zeke, Lekete, Zeketa, Masikleteya, let it rain. Let it rain. One more time. Open the floodgates. Hey! Open the floodgates of heaven. Let it rain. Oh, let it rain. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, my Holy Spirit. South Africa will never be the same again. Africa will never be the same again. A generation is shifting. 
a generation is coming into its place. The generation that seeks my face, standing at the gates, saying, lift up your head. Because you have sought my face, the gate must listen. The gates will be lifted for the king of glory, for his reign to come upon the nations. There's a healing wave coming to your house. Everyone tonight, you are drinking of the river of God. The healing way, you are in the gates of the Lord. In the gate of his power. Turning impossible situations around. I saw when the woman of God was in ministry, God was saying, I'm turning around impossible situations. What is the impossible situation in your life? What is the impossible situation in your children's life? What is the impossible situation in your marriage? What is the impossible situation in South Africa that he cannot turn around? There's an anointing. There's a rain being released to turn around impossible situations. Impossible, they said. And God said, is there anything too hard for me? I'm releasing the rain that will make possible what they said was impossible. I hear the word turning around impossible situations, setting captives free. This is the reign of his power. This is the day of his power. His people shall be born. Let South Africa rise up to a new day. Be immersed in the reign of your baptism. Let your glory be revealed. Let your name be magnified. Let your name be magnified. Magnified, magnified, glorified in South Africa. The enemy's plan was to magnify the name of the man. The enemy's plan was to glorify the name of the man. And the Lord said, no, no, no. It is the name of the Lord that must be glorified. It is the name of Yeshua that must be magnified in this land. He will get his honor. In this nation. He shocked their reign. And he said, it's my name. And it's my reign. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. Please lead us in prayer for the Holy Communion. Minister Eric, lead us, pray over the Holy Communion. We're about to take communion now. So pray over the communion for us to partake of the Holy Communion. Unmute your mic. Unmute your mic, please. Unmute your mic. Unmute your mic. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, I'm so overwhelmed that I didn't think of the mic. Father, we thank you that you have made the best plan to send your son, Jesus. And Jesus, the one that said, Lord, if it is your will, please let this be, um, pass me by and father said no and it pleased him to see his son on the cross jesus we cannot comprehend what you have gone through lord i thank you that tonight we can partake of communion of your body knowing that you have paid the complete everything complete that we can just receive that we can take possession lord god possession of that which you've done. And as we partake of this bread, Lord God, we thank you in the name that's above every other name, that, uh, that healing is ours, that restoration is ours, wholeness is ours, deliverance is ours, and we walk in victory. We thank you, Lord. And we thank you, Lord Jesus, that we receive this bread and we give honor to you. Let's partake of the bread in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father, for the blood, your, the blood of your son, Jesus. Jesus, you hung on the cross and you said, it is finished. And you lay down your head on your chest and you gave up your spirit and we received our victory where you made us righteous and pure. Thank you, Jesus. Let's partake. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. 
Let's eat the communion and let's drink of the blood. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Christ is holy name. Thank you, Jesus. We give honor and glory. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you so much. We'll be so blessed. And um, the Lord wanted to speak individually tonight. Ministry to his army. His army that will take the nation for him. With him. And tonight we were refreshed. Uh, I don't even have words. Um, yes, I'm truly in the transition. I know it. Uh, my ministry is in the transition as you rightly prophesied. And I believe that every prophetic word that come out from, um, from the vessel of God tonight, um, it's going to bring a fresh grace, a fresh grace for accomplishment in the name of the Lord Jesus. And everyone tonight who have come into these gates, when you come into the gates, understand that it is his gates. And in that gate, you're going to experience the rain. You're going to experience the power. You're going to experience the healing. I tell you, before this three days is over, there are healings that we have within this case. The Bible says that the husband man that toils, that farms, will be the first partaker of the fruit. Mm -hmm. And as you are praying for the rain over the nation, you will be the first partaker of the rain mm -hmm. in your life, in your family, in your ministry, in your business. It will be clear that it's raining on you. People will see the difference of the reign of God upon your life. Yeah. And it will be known that truly God has sent his reign to confirm his inheritance in your life. In Jesus' precious name, yeah. amen. amen. God bless you, everyone. We shall meet again tomorrow by his grace to continue the fasting. You can go home, eat your food, eat your meal, hallelujah. And uh, you are free to eat from now to 3 a.m. And then at 3 a.m. again, we rise up and take the gates and begin to proclaim the name of the Lord. From the rising of the sun to the going down the road, the name of the Lord shall be praised in South Africa and other, allowing uh, God to use you freely to reach us tonight, for allowing God to use you to release a liberty, to release his word, to release a prophetic river that you carry into the body of Christ, into a wider dimension. May God bless you. I'll talk to you soon. Hallelujah. My regards to your family, to your children, to your husband, and to everyone. And to a pastor, what's his name? Um, what's your pastor's name? I keep forgetting. To Pastor Joshua. Hallelujah. Pastor Joshua Macaulay. Hallelujah. My regards to him. Amen. God bless you. Shalom. <laughs>